What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another huge question. Now, I know I said I was going to make a great video tomorrow, yesterday, and this was the video I was going to make yesterday, but I was a little bit too busy, so I didn't have time. Anyway, here it is, guys. And, guys, this will be leaking over into next, into next year. So, guys, when January comes, I don't know if you'll be able to, I don't know, who knows, but you guys feel free to put your answer in. Anyway, guys, I'm going to reveal the answer to the last huge question, and then I'm going to ask the question I bet you guys don't even know the answer. <laughs> so, you guys could take this question into next year. Okay, so, <clears throat> here's the, okay, so here's the answer to the last question that I asked. Now, I'm going to repeat the question. <clears throat> As we all know, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, and Twilight, when she gets older, they have moving manes. You know, sparkly moving manes. Now, the big question is, how come Princess Cadence doesn't have a sparkly moving mane? The answer is because she doesn't need one. And plus, not to mention, guys, if you think about it, she doesn't really need a sparkly mane to be loved, and not to mention, it's because of the, uh, you know, the types of roles that they have. Like Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, their jobs is, you know, controlling the sun and the moon. And, Prin and Twilight's job is, of course, <laughs> magic and friendship. And those three are very, very important, I guess. But with Cadence... She does need love. She does love is very very important and all that other stuff. And send it with her crystal magic, I guess. I don't know, but anyway, the bottom line is, guys, she doesn't really need a uh, sparkly mane to be loved or be a famous princess. So yeah, that's the answer. Oh, and also, guys, here's a little fun fact. I bet you guys didn't know about Princess Cadence. Did you guys know that she is actually the niece of Princess Celestia and Princess Luna? Did you guys know that? She's the niece of Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. <laughs> now that is definitely something you guys can take into next year. Anyway, speaking of Princess Luna and Princess Celestia, it's the next question is about them. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, now you guys know the answer to the last question. Now here is the now here's today's question. <clears throat> As we all know, Princess Celestia and Princess Luna have two very, very important jobs. Have two very, very important jobs. Princess Celestia, she raises the sun. And Princess Luna, she raises the moon. Basically, they control night and day. So, guys, but guys, there is one little question about that. You see, as we all know, in the final episode of MLP Friendship is Magic, they retired. They retired from being princesses. And of course, as we all know, Princess Twilight took over. Twilight took over. So, guys... <laughs> so, guys, as we all know, like I said, Twilight, she's taking over being the princess of Equestria... While Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, they're gone doing whatever. I mean, all I know is that they retired. All I know is that they retired and all that other stuff. But anyway, um, so guys, with that being said, here's a huge question I bet none of you guys answer. That I bet none of you guys can answer. Now that Princess Twilight has taken over uh, Equestria, the question is... Who is raising the sun and the moon? Like, is it still Princess Celestia and Princess Luna? Or is Twilight still doing it? Or, or is Twilight controlling the sun and the moon? I mean, she did before. I mean, she messed it up, but she did do a great job. Oh, and also, here's another question. I, well, I technically, I just asked that. But do you guys still think, even after retired, Princess Celestia and Princess Luna are still controlling the sun and moon during the nighttime and the daytime? Do you guys honestly think that? Anyway, that's it for the questions, guys. I'm going to repeat them one more time. I'm going to repeat them one more time. Oh, I almost forgot in the beginning. Uh, 
I'm sorry to say this, but nobody could get that question about, you know, the mains and stuff. They couldn't get that, so, yeah, nobody gets a shout-out. Sorry. But anyway, but anyway, guys, like I said before, the rules state if whoever can get, whoever gets close enough to the answer right here and these questions will get a shout-out, okay? Anyway, I'm going to repeat the question again. Now that Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, they're retired, but here's the thing. Twilight, she is now the princess of Equestria. So, the question is, when it comes to the sun and moon, is Twilight controlling it? Like, is she raising the moon and raising the sun? And finally, and finally, the second question, even retired, is Princess Celestia and Princess Luna still raising the sun and moon? See, those are basically some interesting questions that you guys need to take into consideration. Because think about it. Twilight, she doesn't have their magic. Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, we don't know if they still have their, you know, magic. Well, they kind of do because think about it. Their manes were still moving and everybody knows if, they, if their magic gets drained, their, their manes get droopy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's basically a good question, guys. Even after retirement, do, do Princess Celestia and Princess Luna still raise the sun and moon? And, and because of their retirement, uh, is Twilight in charge of raising the sun and moon now? Anyway, you guys think about that, and I'll see you guys next year when I, when I, when I reveal the answer. Alright? Because this is definitely going to take some time. So I'm going to give you guys about a week or until next Wednesday. Um, so, so that way you guys can answer it. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog saying Happy New Year when it comes to this question. Because, guys, remember, you won't be seeing another question uh, video until next year. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.